Nothing wrong with Amish people. We love Amish people. Anyway. Hey! hey! Welcome to Dams. The Dams Show. Dams. We don't have an introduction. I'm yet. Laura. <laughs> yeah. I'm Raya. I'm Nikki. And I'm Sasha. D A M S. <laughs> so. Uh, we are here to do a Q&A on what uh, art school life is like, what general like college life is like, because I know a lot of you guys might be high schoolers, and it's like, I don't know what to do next, so we're going to be <laughs> answering a lot of questions that you guys might be have via what you guys sent on Curious Cat. Uh, we're not going to say what school we're from, just to protect us right now. We're just in a quaint little art school in who knows where land. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and immediately, with that being said, we're going to go on to the first question. I really want to go to an art school, but obviously my parents are completely against me doing that. What are some amazing things about art school that convinced my parents to take this into consideration? I think there's like a certain stigma that like art students or art people are like lazy and like aren't going to like be successful just because they're doing art, but some things people don't really realize is that art has a lot of um, outlets that you can use to like express that I guess you yeah. know I mean I think a lot of people first off think when you say that you want to be an artist as your occupation they think that you're just gonna mooch for money be on the side of the street not doing anything yeah I'm a starving artist yeah and that's <laughs> just completely not right I mean no. sure that might happen but I feel like if you put in a lot of effort and our school definitely helps don't get me wrong and it's what you put in that you get out of it too. yeah mm. And a lot of times, uh, the place that you go to, be it just art college, college in general, or just if you have really good connections, uh, they can help you get further jobs. There's a lot of things that you can do with an art degree. It also depends on your major, but for the most part, I think, tell your parents that they should at least look into it. Yeah. Alright, what's the most annoying question you get by people when they find out you go to an art school? Basically, basically the question, uh, the answer to the question is a lot of people ask if we do art. That's it. Art, art school. No. no. We don't. Never. We, never. No. Ha, um, excuse, uh, that's unheard of. <laughs> us doing <laughs> art? art? <laughs> yes, we do. And the thing is, like, this is not just an art school, it's also film school, so, like, mm -hmm. there is a difference between just an art school and a film school, but we're lucky that this has both. I don't really understand what people think when art school pops in their mind, but we have we have like our basic gen eds, you know. Mm -hmm. We have school like all week, but then like we also have like ten other projects, and sometimes a lot yeah. of people do projects that are even outside of school. Yeah, so for sure. Most we're busy constantly. <laughs> constantly creating is hella hella. And it's hard. It can be stressful because you have like you have yeah. school to keep up, like and it's something you're math. passionate about. So you're all <laughs> what are good ways to pay for college? <laughs> um, definitely scholarships. Look at um, your school's website. A lot of times schools might come, like big colleges might come to like your school and do like little recruiting. They might have more information. Simply if you apply, a lot of schools will be willing to give you money. Yeah. Of course this is like in arts, because we only know about art school. We're in art school, we got art school scholarships. Yeah. Um, a lot of times if you have a strong enough portfolio, you might get a scholarship. For anyone else who's interested in going to uh, art school, there's a thing called National Portfolio Day. Mm -hmm. This is all around the country, so there might be a close yeah, location to you, hopefully, um, where a ton of colleges will go, and basically uh, you'll get your portfolio review. They'll tell you like what they think is strong, what you might want to work on, give you a lot of great advice, and at the end, you will most likely get a scholarship. Yeah. So that's great. But, okay, <laughs> the next question is how do dorms work? Do you get randomly paired? Do you get to request people or what? So for most colleges, you can request people, but if you don't know anyone, you just get randomly paired. That's what we all did here. Yeah, yeah we did fill out like a survey, kind of like when yeah, you wake like, up, how clean are, are you? Bed, are you yeah. messy? Are you how clean? How many drugs do you do? Yeah, how many of them? All of them. Also, every art school is different. So, so lucky to be paired up with these people. Oh my god, oh my god, don't you Just kidding, I really this. hate them. Fuck you. <laughs> Art school will make you want to die as much as normal school does, asking for a friend. It's what you put in that you get out of it, so just, you so, know, try I mean, your hardest. It, it's the kind of stuff that I love, so even though it makes me want to die, like, it's it's in a different way than I think maybe 
a high school class would make me literally want to yeah. permit uh, uh, slew of slides. Slew slides. Slew of slides. Yeah. Uh, what are y'all's majors and how do the classes you take differ from one another? I'm a fine art major. <laughs> I am a graphic design major. I'm a film major. I'm an illustration major. You yeah. probably should have, but we're all freshmen. All of our classes right now are just very like introductory, so we have like introduction to blank, introduction to blah, blah, blah. So <coughs> overall, we have very similar classes. Yeah. Which consists of. And art we're gonna history. probably branch out a little more, but still mm -hmm. probably gonna work together on a lot of stuff. Like, I mean, like art is a very collaborative thing, mm -hmm. so. If even if I'm doing something that's very illustration I might need someone else's like opinion like as a crit or I might need one of us to be an act or actress. Yeah. Design a set need some extras. Yeah. So <laughs> But I guess this. the overall question, like how do they differ from uh one another? You draw. <laughs> do you like draw? Do you, do you like draw? draw? You? I mean I guess I like draw. Mickey draws, Freya films, we compute. What do you think you'd be doing if you hadn't chosen to go to art school? Oh, that's hard. Well, I would be studying to become a boring old history teacher. That's disgusting. Just kidding. I love history. <laughs> Just kidding. To be honest, for me, I really don't know. I might be like into like psychology or helping something with like children who don't have homes. Wait, what is that called? Um, uh, 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 <laughs> uh, social services. Social yeah. Ser services. Yeah, that's probably what worker. I would be doing. A I social would love worker. to see in psychology. Yes psychology school. <laughs> I think I would have been a computer science major because that's my background in high school. I took a lot of computer science courses. Oh, I would like be taking a lot of apprenticeships and like... To be a Yeah, I'd be a hippie, okay? But I would be like... <laughs> you know what? Be whoever you want to be. Yeah, but anyway, <laughs> I'd be trying to learn in a more alternative way than going to school if I couldn't go to school for some reason. Next question, uh, what's living with roommates like? Was it scary to move in with strangers? Uh, We're best friends. Yeah, basically. Yeah, most so And sisters. it happened like the first day. We're basically family. But we didn't yeah. know each other at all before we got here. We I walked in, okay. Me. So we walked <laughs> in the kitchen, all four of us, because there were people helping us move in. Yeah. And the time we actually all got together <laughs> was in the ourselves. kitchen, it was so and we were like, like, I was like, and I looked at the three of them, I was standing behind all of them, <laughs> I was thinking, wow, my roommates are tall, <laughs> <laughs> You're just we're going to be great friends, <laughs> we just ended up good friends, and that's that's how it goes, was there, were you guys scared before? I think, the drive, we, I think we were all in some way, shape, or form, like a tad bit nervous, yeah, for yeah. sure, mm -hmm. so we were just kind of like, hey, what are you guys going to bring, all right, and then we but would talk for months. But you guys would like, do we jokes on there too sometimes? And it would just be like, I'd be like, I can't wait to meet them. It was <laughs> pretty, <laughs> me too. We really truly did luck out with yeah. Um, yeah. the roommate game here. We are one. Also, yeah. there are four of us, so it's a completely different dynamic. Than yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, then just oh, yeah. Two just people. like, yeah. Yeah. Also, and we also have our own rooms, so it's like, we get. Does it matter what type of art you do? Like, the medium. No, no, no. You have specific goals. projects. Yeah, so they like, do give you parameters and specific projects, but you can interpret those however you want. To. Uh, do you have to learn new mediums alone? No, you also do not. Probably most of the time you're gonna be in a class with people who also don't know what they're doing. So. Mm -hmm. And but a lot of people that do. Yeah, so it's all a you bunch of mix. You. And your teachers are gonna do whatever they can to help you. Sometimes they're learning a new medium too, but it's yeah. Oh, we have that's happened. Before. I think a lot of times when you get into art school, and this again, this is personal experience. They're mm -hmm. not looking for you to understand and know how to do everything. Yeah. It's just they saw your portfolio, they saw what you can do, so they're just kind of asking, like you know, hey, can you push yourself more? Are you willing to do more? Like you can do this. How about this, this, or this? Yeah. So it's a learning process, but it's a good learning process. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, how is the food? This is where we can talk. Uh. Okay, well the food here, it's a little different because we don't have like an actual meal plan because we don't have a cafeteria. We have a cafe though that cooks food, mm -hmm. but basically um, we have to buy our own groceries. Since our dorm is not really like a small dorm, it's an apartment style, so we have our own kitchen. So we basically buy our own food, cook our own food, live in the life of... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, here it is. So this is our last question that we have. Uh, how long should you wait after uh, you graduated high school to start college? Depends on you, fam. And you 
realize it's not for you, it is not the end of the world. No. College is not for everyone, and I feel like it's a really big stigma that, like, yeah. you have to go to college or else you're going to die alone or something. Just make sure that you have a plan as to what to do after or if you decide not to go to college. Yeah. Thanks for sticking around this long. Woo! We'll get better at this. Um, let's know in the comments below.